Hey guys, this is Jason at JP3 Motorsports coming at you with another product highlight. Today we're going to be talking about the RX-8 fan motor, uh, the cooling fan motor and fan blade upgrade. Um, a lot of guys have done this upgrade before and uh, have tested it out. And so the things that we've found um, that are beneficial is that one, the motors um, are a little bit lighter than the OEM. You can see this is the OEM motor that's coming out and the RX-8 motors are lighter. Uh, a little bit lighter they are uh they, they have a little bit less amp draw um and the motors combined with the blades um supposedly uh gets you about almost double the amount of cfm uh pull um through the radiator so uh, the difference is is that with the with the fan blades is that the rx8 fan blades this has a seven versus a five and a five versus a four uh blade um fan assembly so with our kit what we're going to be including is going to be the two fan blades two motors mounting hardware for the blades to the fan and for the motors to the uh, shroud assembly we're going to give you uh some of these um some of these markers that uh, i'll show you uh, are going to help you when you splice in the connector we're going to have two of the uh, sumitomo uh, corresponding the connectors to the RX-8 uh, fan motors, uh, backwards, okay, so just like that. And then the uh, the pins and some zip ties. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through how to install everything um, and show you the, the basically the hardest part um, is just splicing in the new connector. So our kit, what you're gonna have to do is uh, cut off either the, if you have the RX-8 or, or the um, Gretty, v-mount extension harness you're going to cut off the uh, connector um, to the fans and splice in uh, or, or put in a new um, pins and connector for the that plug into the rx8 fan or you're going to if you don't have if you don't have the rx8 uh, or rx7 um, v-mount extension harness and you're, you're using oem setup you're just going to cut off the body um, body harness uh, body clip and then put in a, a splice in the new the new connector um, the reason why we did that, we thought about um, possibly taking the RX-7, the OEM connector, depinning it, um, and using the connector and and, and um, giving you guys new pins. Um, but these cars are over 25 years old. Um, one, if you're gonna if you're gonna cut and splice and you reuse the connector, you can see here a lot of, a lot of them are corroded. Um, uh, over time uh, you're not going to get a good connection off of that and then also trying to depin these is a pain in the butt and and if you do get them out you're likely going to have one or two clips that are broken or, or break off from the inside so i think the easiest solution um cleanest solution sure way solution to get uh, that you're getting a nice connection is putting in a new connector with new pins um and, and go from there so i'm going to go underneath the car show you what it looks like and then uh show you where we're going to begin all right, so here we are underneath the car. Um, just note that the four blade fan is on the driver's side on the left-hand drive car, and the five blade fan um, is on the passenger side on the left-hand drive car. So this is where we're gonna put the seven blade, seven blade, and then we're gonna put the five blade on this side. Um, so before you take anything apart and start disconnecting and dismounting the, uh, the fan assembly, you're gonna wanna take note right here on the connector and take note of where the yellow or all the corresponding colors are. So um, with the tags that we include, you're gonna wanna tag the body harness. So this um, this car has the Grady V-mount, so I have the Grady V-mount extension harness. So what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be um, modifying the extension harness instead of the body harness, but on guys with different setups, uh, OEM setups, you're gonna uh, modify the, or cut off the connector off the body harness. So before you disconnect it, you want to tag each wire to the corresponding color. So blue, put blue on this side, yellow, yellow on this side. You're going to tag it. That way when we um, cut off the connector and we put on the new connector, we know the same color is going to be um, plugging into the um, RX-8 uh, fan motors. All right, so we're going to take that apart and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. All right, so I got the... Uh wires labeled so blue to blue green to green 
black to black, yellow to yellow. This way we can, uh, when we cut the connector off and we repin the new uh, corresponding uh, Sumitomo connector for the RX-8 fans, um, it'll correspond to the same colors on the new uh, RX-8 fans. So we got those and then I got it on the other harness. You'll see here, uh, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, green to green, black to black. All right, so then after you have that done, then you can uh, disconnect the, the fan motors and then uh, dismount the uh, the fan assembly. All right. All right. So I have the uh, the Gretti extension, the V mount extension harness removed from the car. Um, if you're gonna uh, if you don't have the extension harness, you're using it in a different setup or the OEM setup, uh, front mount setup. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna be basically doing it on the car. Um, so I'll show you on the bench here. So I have all the uh, the wires labeled. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to cut off the wire, cut off the connector, um, and then we're going to crimp new uh, pins and then put in the new connector. So once you have these, um, these wires uh, repinned, you're going to take the corresponding colors, you're going to take the connector, and then you're going to match them up to um, the corresponding color on the RX-8 fan motor. So that way it's uh, matching color to color. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to cut these off, uh, recrimp new pins, and then put the new connectors in. All right. All right. So I ended up cutting off the OEM FD uh, connector, um, and then I we repinned it. Um, I'm not going to show you how we repinned it, but it's basically using crimping tool. We like to use one of these wire fly crimping tools, but. Everyone has their own preference on what they use to crimp. I add a little solder afterwards, and then make sure that you're putting back the, um, putting these the little seals on. And so they're all sealed up. And then what we did was you take the connector, you match it up to the RX-8 connector, and you make sure that the labeled wires black corresponds with black, the yellow corresponds to the yellow, and so forth and so forth. So. Um, they're all connected and this harness is done. I can take these uh, little labels off and this, these motors are ready to be mounted onto the, uh, the fan shroud. So we're going to take the, uh, the OEM fan, sh fan shroud apart, take the old motors off and fan blades and uh, show you how to install these, uh, these motors. All right. All right. So we have the OEM FD uh, cooling, cooling uh, fan shroud and uh, fan assembly um, here, I'm taking off the radiator. So what we're gonna first do is gonna take the fan blades out. There's two eight millimeter nuts on both fan blades. Take those off and the fan blade should come off. All right, we'll do that. And then I'll show you how to take the motors off. All right, so these fan blades were a bit of a, a bit tricky to take out and I'm, I'm sure most of you guys are gonna have about the same issue. So what we ended up doing was we took the nuts off of the fan blade um, and then we took all the bolts, the three bolts that were holding the motor to the shroud. And you can get to them by, you, there's one here, and you just rotate the blades till you can get access to them. There's another one right here, and then there's one on the back. Once you get all three out, the motor will kind of float down. And then what you can do is take a punch, or I took a, just a short extension, take it to the shaft of the motor, and we're not worried about damaging the, the motor or the shaft at this point because you're going to replace them anyway. And you're just going to tap. And what I did was I put a little block on the table to take the shroud and the motor off of the table so that the motor will hang. And a couple of taps and it broke it loose. So these uh, these fan blades are going to be somewhat stuck. I did do a little uh, rust penetration uh, penetrant or WD-40 in there to loosen it up, but it still didn't work. So doing this method worked like a charm couple of hits and it and the, the motors came right out all right so you got the fan blades out so you're going to want to note which uh which side had the five blades and which side had the four blades all right i'll show you the next step all right so i have the motors mounted um with the if you want to orient yourselves with the tabs these tabs on the bottom i have the motors pointed to the right um because this is going to have the extension harness this is going to route for the gritty mount um, going from there so we supply all brand new stainless steel hardware so we don't have to worry about the hardware rusting and getting stuck or breaking on you uh, 
luckily on this fan shroud, the, the hardware came out okay. Uh, I took another one apart and most of the most of the bolts snapped. Um, that's why we supply you with all brand new hardware, so you don't have to worry about if it snaps in, on the old motors or whatnot. Uh, so once you have these in place, then we can put the shrouds and put the nuts on there. So I'll show you the picture after I put the shrouds on. All right, so we got the fan blades put on. We give you brand new um, nuts to have the captive washers on them. So they go right on, and these are ready to go back in. Um, just you'll notice that there's a on the shaft there's a D shape, so that the blades can go on only go on a certain way. And you know, what you do is just hold the blade and tighten down the nuts um, until that captive washer is flat and tight. All right, so these are ready to go and ready to put back on the car. All right, so we got the whole assembly put back on the car. Um, this is on a Grady V mount, so I have the extension harness. So we give you a couple of zip ties. Um, to tie the harnesses back. If you're on the OEM setup, you just need a couple to just tie it to the shroud. Um, I use a couple more just to tie the, uh, or run the uh, extension harness back up to the top of the, uh, the car. Um, and now we're just ready, ready to run the car. So basically some, just a summary. Um, the OEM fans by now are about 25 plus years old. So if you're looking to replace them, they look a little tired or you're not sure if they're, they're running to their optimal uh, performance and you want to upgrade, this is a great upgrade so you don't, um, and you can still retain the, uh, the OEM Fran Shroud. Um, <clears throat> they're a little, the motors are a little bit lighter in weight. They, they pull a little bit less in uh, amp draw. And um, best of all is the CFMs that they pull. I think Aaron Forcer um, tested them out and he got about 6,500 cfms on the oem fans and the uh with this setup with the rx8 fan blades and the motors i think he had almost uh 12,000 cfm so just uh, just shy of uh double the double the amount of cfm so this should help with cooling preventing uh overheating and, and whatnot so this is a nice upgrade if you like our content like our products please like follow and subscribe i'll see you on the next one Alright, so I got the fans running, just a little update, you can see, I put a little shop towel 